Elena. Hello. Hello. You're a TEDx organizer. How did you get into TEDx organization? Uh, well, it is actually a, a very interesting story. I got to, to TEDx organization through uh, Toastmasters because um, I was sitting at the after party with my Toastmasters friends and we discussed that maybe we should organize something bigger than just our small conference or contest and we should do a TEDx event in our city. And uh, I was living in Uch, in a city in Poland, mm -hmm. uh, where there was no TEDx event. So I applied for the event and uh, I got the license in a few months. And we started organization. The majority of organizers were from Toastmasters, as those people are very active uh, in, in, uh, in the social life but also many other people joined us we got many sponsors partners and uh, now i'm organizing tedx events for f over four years already oh. perfect what is the difference between tedx speech and toastmasters speech uh, well there are few quite uh, big differences uh, the, uh, the biggest difference is time. Usually Toastmaster speech is five to seven minutes. Uh, however, TEDx uh, speech is uh, three to 18 minutes. So uh, TED speaker has uh, freedom of, of uh, what length of speech he will choose. However, the TEDx speeches are usually not humorous, but uh, mm, but they are persuasive or, or inspirational speeches and the most important thing is uh, that they always have some new interesting idea which is worth spreading. What are basic steps uh, for the person who is going to take a part in TEDx event? Uh, you mean to be become a TEDx speaker or an organizer? To become a TEDx speaker. To become a speaker. Uh, yes, I know many people ask me, many Toastmasters ask me the, uh, how to become a TEDx speaker. And actually they even want to take part in our events. They apply to become speakers at our events. And uh, sometimes we have Toastmasters as speakers. Um, the main thing is that you need to have an idea which is unique, which is worth uh, spreading. Sometimes speakers, professional speakers, even contact us and they say, I want to be a speaker. And we ask, what is your idea? And uh, he says or she, um, I can speak about anything. What is the topic of your conference? I will adapt. So we don't accept such speakers. This is, this is what you should not do if you want to become a TEDx speaker. So you should have your idea, what you want to present, uh, some scientific proofs or stories, mm -hmm. so that you should be credible, not just telling someone else's story you read in the book, but it should be your idea. And uh, after that, to convince TEDx organizers, you need to apply for such an event to describe your idea, why it is worth spreading, and then they will consider your application. Thank you. I think I learned much more about TEDx. I, maybe I should join them. Thank you very much.